hello teachers and parents uh, in our last tutorial we saw how to submit story quiz item that means create a story and then create a multiple choice question surrounding that particular story and uh, pretty much till this point we have learned how to submit various type of quiz items various type of multiple choice questions which has photo which has simple text which has youtube video which has story uh, we also learned how to submit uh, multiple choice question directly from your smartphone camera uh, so these are the various uh, ways you can uh, uh, you know submit uh, quiz questions and create a content class content class is like a bucket uh, where th this uh, this is the one which we created space science one it is like a bucket where you can consolidate all types of uh, quiz items uh, quiz questions for one particular subject or one particular topic or concept category and uh, and and have it ready so then you can share this with your uh, other teachers uh, if you want to, you can just uh, uh, add it uh, through members and make a part of this uh, content class so that they can use this content class for uh, quiz creations uh, for their classrooms. So now uh, it's time to learn how to create actual quiz event. We, we call it events because event is nothing but you can schedule it uh, on uh, for a particular date, uh, for a particular time, keep it open for uh, uh you know uh, for for day or multiple days so those type of scheduling can be done uh, in the in the event uh, and uh, that's how we create a quiz event so let's uh, go and understand how to create a quiz event out of this space science content class so i click on events i click on create event i'm going to just give some uh, sample titles space science quiz one i'm going to select the category is a space science and just for the sake i'm going to copy this in the description uh, and uh, at this point i'm just going to create a simple quiz uh, event uh, without scheduling it for a particular day or time i'm just going to keep it open uh, right now and then we'll, uh, after after that we'll, we'll learn how to uh, schedule it for a particular uh, day uh, this is where uh, I can say that this is is this a quiz event? Yes. Uh, these are all default parameters. Uh, timeout value 120. Participant limit you can increase decrease. Uh, this is important. Uh, clicker team size must be the number which, uh, uh, for example, if you buy 30 clickers uh, from Hi-Fi Kids uh, or any of our channel partners, then you must put 30 as a clicker uh, team size, and then accordingly it creates uh, uh, teams uh, within the classroom. Uh, so that they can use these uh, clickers those are voting devices in the class in in in, in teams uh, you know turn by turn now i'm going to select content class which we created space science it's going to allow me to select all these questions i can select one two or just select all uh, if you want you can put uh, sponsored by i'm going to put uh, high five kids corp here and uh, is this open quiz event yes i want to keep it open uh, do not restrict uh, do you want to enable age restriction? No. Do you want to enable audio? No. Uh, need int uh, intro video? Uh, I'm just going to say no right now. Uh, so these are the default parameters. Uh, is this time quiz? I can just remove the time. Uh, keep time. I mean, if you want to sh uh, show that uh, you know uh, quiz should end at a particular time, then you can enable this. Otherwise, you don't have to. Uh, but uh, uh, do you want to uh, see result analyzer? Yes. Enable tag subcategory? Yes. And submit. All right. So this is how all these uh, students automatically join this uh, quiz event. Uh, you remember uh, in one of the tutorials we saw how to add students for this particular academy. These are the 1 to 30 students which are added for uh, uh, which got added in this uh, academy and automatically they become a part of this particular quiz event. Uh, if uh, if I want to see uh, names of the students i can i can just go and edit the ids but one two three four five these are the clicker ids okay uh, right now we are not going to see how the clicker works with this quiz uh, event but i'm just going to see uh, show you how to run this quiz online and if you want to just check who is associated with these ids you can see the full name here i just uh, have some sample full names and these are the team ids by default team id is always one and then clicker id is one two three four up to number of clickers team size so i'm going to go back and just uh, see how we can run this uh, uh, quiz event uh, let me just put it in ascending mode 
and just launch it uh, first time users i have to agree on this uh, rules terms and conditions and proceed and you will see i see all these questions i'm going to quickly uh, answer this uh, uh, without really checking the uh, correct answer because i want to uh, speed it up so that we can finish this fast and uh, all right uh, this is how you answer it uh, while uh, uh, doing it online from your laptop or from your iPad or from your uh, smartphone. Just select the answers here. So uh, answer C may be correct. Uh, let me check and then answer it. Submit answer. This is the one which we captured it from the smartphone. I'm just going to select some answer, maybe B and uh, once you select this answer it actually submits the answer so you don't have to really click this button but uh, to move to next quiz you have to put it uh, submit and uh, you should click on this uh, only after this starts blinking okay uh, alternatively you can also just directly go to next question from here but uh, this is better because it will allow you to automatically go to next question so this is the question which has uh, images uh, in in the answers also so I'm going to select one of these. Okay. Submit. And this particular question has a video. Uh, so it is going to play video. In this experiment, we're going to build a simple telephone. I'm going to submit it. For know. this. And this is a question which has a story in it. So I can read the story. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, you know, and then answer this uh, question. So. Oh, yes and uh, submit this this was the last question and I should see the result here so I click here and I see the results and seven questions total attempted seven five correct two wrong and I can go and check my result analysis if if I have any explanation for each each of my questions I can just check and validate my answers I can go to next question and check which one was correct which one was wrong uh, so uh, this is how I can uh, you know check my correct or wrong answers if it is wrong it will show it with the red color and then correct answer is shown in green color so this is how I attend my quiz uh, uh, let's go back to the result page again uh, click here and I can see my detailed PDF report by opening the PDF file and in PDF file you will see all the topics listed here and by topics by topics I can see my result so I'm doing extremely good when I see this hundred percent hundred percent but uh, when I see logical math and geometry I'm not good I got hundred percent wrong there so this is how I can see in which area I'm doing really good in which area I need improvement and I can then uh, you know uh, practice more quizzes and more read more uh, curriculum material uh, for those topics uh, particularly for those topics click here and you are pretty much done uh, running this quiz online mode and now in next tutorial we'll, we'll see how to uh, edit this how to uh, you know uh, uh, add some intro video to this uh, particular quiz event uh, i hope you enjoyed this and uh, see you in uh, next tutorial thank you